Do you want to make a cleaning service website for your business or clients? This is the right place for you. This will be a complete and step-by-step -step tutorial. So if you don't have any previous experience about how to make a website, you can also make your own website only by following this step-by-step -step video. Now let's have a look which you are going to make in today's tutorial. This is the website which you are going to make in today's video. So here I will show you how to create this kind of nice custom header. And here you can add your phone number in top, email and here is a call to action button. So when anyone click on this button from any page, it will be redirected to the get a free code form area. Then here I have added a dummy logo. So here you can add your own logo and also on the right side, this is a menu. I will show you how to create this kind of menu and then here i will show you how to create this kind of nice banner area here you can add your title line about your business and here will be some short text and this is a call to action button so we can add any text and we can link this button to any pages and on the right side this is a form i will show you how to create this form people will fill this form to get a free code from you so when they fill this form and submit and you will get all this information to your email address. So after that you can contact with them directly. Now if I scroll down here is another section. So here you can add some basic feature of your business or services. After that here is a small about section. So you can add some text about your business or company and this is also a call to action area so you can add your phone number and here is a button so we can also link this button with this free estimate form and after that here is a service area so you can add your services in this area and if you need to add more services you can also do that and after that this is a team member section i'll show you how to create all these so if you have a team member area and want to add about their details so you can add your team member details in this area and after that this is the testimonial area this is very important what your customers are talking about your business or services so in this area you can add some best reviews from your happy customer and here we can add unlimited number of testimonials so these reviews will help you to increase your sales and then this is a latest news or post section by publishing regular blog post you can get more traffic to your website I will show you how to write a blog post and how to customize the single blog post page so when you click on any specific blog post for example here so this is the blog details page from here we can see the details of this blog post I'll show you how to customize this single blog post page now going back again and finally here is another call to action section and this button will link with that free estimate form and finally at the very bottom here I will show you how to this custom designed footer here you can also upload your logo, phone number, some social link. I will show you all in details. And here in the bottom area, in the left side here I have added some services. So here you can add the list of your services. Or if you want to add something else in this area, so you can change that text to a different one. And here this is a newsletter or sign up form. I will show you how to create a newsletter sign up form using MailChimp. By doing email marketing, you can also grow your business several times. And then here is working hours and here is the copyright text. So you can also add your own text in this area. And here I will show you how to create others inner pages like about. Here you can add more details about your services or company. And then this is the services page. So here you can add all of the services which you have. And under services, here you can add some details page about your services. So if I go to service details, 
so instead of service details you can add the specific name of your service and here you can add some more details about that services here will be text some images and more details if you have then you can create a coverage area page so here you can add the list of area where you are providing your services then i will show you how to create a testimonials page how to create a contact page here you can add all of your contact information and there will be another form so by using this contact form people can contact with you finally this website will be completely ready for phone or any other devices so this site will be completely responsive for all devices you need not to worry about the responsive view finally i will talk about how to get traffic to your website how to do different kind of digital marketing for your services and following that you can grow your business 10 times than now i will show you how you can monitor your visitors from different location and business growth Finally, you will find a timestamp in the description so you can jump any part of this video. Before moving forward, let me introduce myself. I am Farjana Rashid, professional web designer and developer and I am working in this area for last 8 years. So you are learning from a real web developer. So far you see, if you like this kind of video and want to watch more, give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you will not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel i have divided this tutorial into several small steps so the very first step purchase your domain and hosting here i will show you how to get a free domain for the first year and how to get up to 60 percent discount for hosting using my link if you already have your own domain and hosting you can skip this part or if you don't have then follow along so to get domain and hosting go to my sites farjana rushidcom go to tools and if i scroll down here is the bluehost and click on get started or i will leave the direct link to the description so you can go from there so why bluehost in my opinion bluehost is the best web hosting provider i am a web developer i have tried different web hosting companies don't want to mention their name but i personally ended up with bluehost hundreds of my clients using bluehost and they never complain about using it if you see my bluehost account i have hosted here tons of website and I never get a downtime. I always get instant support in case I need any help. Their customer support is really amazing and their pricing is really affordable for everyone. That's why I always recommend Bluehost. Now from here click on get started and here we will find several packages they created. Here we will find four type of packages. For the very first one, the basic one so if you have only one website need to host you can select the basic one and if you have multiple website you can select their plus options and with their choice plus option they always recommend the choice plus option here you will get some extra feature for security you will get free domain privacy free automated backup for one year and also will get some pro tools for your website and also when you take the pro package here you will get additionally free domain privacy free automated backup for unlimited time free dedicated ip and also the same pro tools but for all of the packages you will get a free domain for the basic one you will get it for one year and for all others you will get it for lifetime and also you will get free cdn and free SSL certificate. This will include it for four packages. And here, all the pricing is showing for 12 months. And when you click on 36 months, the pricing is showing as per 36 months. 
for now i need to host one website so this time we can go with the first one but we can upgrade or downgrade the packages anytime as we want so click on select from the basic one now here we have to type our domain name so if you already have your domain you can type your domain name here or if you don't have the domain name so we have to type a new domain name here and on the right side here we have options dot com dot online all the extension which you need i always recommend to use the dot com most preferable and this dot com is also good for seo all right here i'm typing the domain name fajana wp and click on next congrats your domain is available so to get this domain name click on continue now i have to fill this form with my own information all right go ahead all right i have filled this form with my personal information and then the package information from here we have to select again the basic plan for 12 month if you like to use for 36 month you can also do that so for 12 month this is the discounted price if you also check the packages from the first step here you will find for all the packages they are offering their biggest discount for the first year we are taking the basic one and here we are getting 73 percent discount so where the regular price is ten dollar per month now we are getting two dollar ninety five cent per month that's huge all right let's go ahead and from here packages extras so these extra tools they are offering we don't need these site backup options for now we can remove and site lock security i'm also disabling this so our total price is now $35.40 that's cool and finally we have to set the payment information so we have to fill this up our credit card number CVV and expiration date I'm filling this up very quickly finally click on the terms and condition policy so I agree with the terms and condition select this one and finally click on submit all right your purchase was a success and they sent a confirmation email to my email address now going to check my email so now you can see they sent me a verification email click to open and from here we have to click on the verify your email all right my email is verified successfully by this time I got another email this is for payment confirmation and the invoice for my purchase now from here click on create account here is showing my domain name now i have to type my password i'm setting a new password also going to retype the password and go to create account all right your account is ready to go and now we can log in click on go to login now here i have to retype my password which i just created and go to login i'm saving it we can skip this step for now and let's go ahead click on get started turn off domain privacy and protection and confirm it so we have successfully completed purchasing our domain and hosting now i'm going for step 2 install wordpress to install WordPress, first I'm going to my sites and then from here go to create site. Now we have to type the site name. For example, here I'm typing WordPress website and site title, uh, complete website by Fajana. Then here is some advanced option. We can set our email address, username and password or if we skip that they will create some information by default i like to type my email address and username password i'm typing and then go to next here i'm going to install the wordpress website to the root domain so the directory it will be empty and the default plugins we can skip this then go to next 
all right now going to skip this step and our wordpress website installed successfully now we can go to login our wordpress all right this is our wordpress dashboard and from here if i go to visit site this is the default layout of our wordpress website and from here if i go to appearance the default theme is now activated 2023 and the look is like this and if we change the look to a different one like sinatra and now if we refresh so you can see our default look is changing okay i'll work with that later for now i'm going to cleaning up our wordpress dashboard if i go to our dashboard here we can see some notification or information box. These are coming from WordPress and our plugin settings. So first of all going to plugins and going to select all the plugins, deactivate it. These are the default plugins. This is installed by default with our WordPress installation. And again select all from here going to delete. All right, now again going to dashboard. We can dismiss this notification. And then again going to post. Here is some dummy blog post. We are going to cleaning up. Go to trash and click on empty trash. Same for the pages. Select all page and move to trash apply go to trash and empty trash and finally going to settings all is good and going to reading from here the search engine visibility for this time i am selecting on discourage search engines from indexing this site our site is still not ready to go so until that I am blocking this site indexing from the Google or any search engine and save changes and finally going to permalinks and from here we have to set the permalink by default it's already set the post name like the domain URL then the sample post this is all right we can keep with that so for now we are all set and we are done with this step now I'm going for the next step step 3 so now i'm going to install theme and here i'm going to use ocean wp theme so for that going to appearance and theme and here going to add new searching for ocean so this is the theme and i'm going to install and activate so our theme is activated and then going for step 4 install necessary plugin now i need to install all the plugin one by one now going to plugins and add new and here first of all elementor and paste it here here is the elementor website builder going to install this one then going to elementor header footer builder going to install this one and then essential add-ons for elementor going to install this and then mailchimp for wordpress here is the mailchimp for wordpress going to install then testimonial slider this is for testimonial if you want to show some testimonial as slider so that case we can install this plugin testimonial slider and finally we forms this will work for form so all the plugin now installed and if i go to installed plugins and here is all plugin we can select all together and here click on activate and apply All right, so all the plugin now activated and here is the five update plugin settings. So here we need to set some 
basic settings for several plugins like essential add-ons elementor so going one by one first of all going for elementor and settings and from here going to features flexbox container in this design i will use this feature flexbox container so going to activate and save changes and next going for the essential add-ons plugin and here going to elements and here we can see there is so many elements but here we only going to use two of them so one is the post grid and another is the form so we can hide all others element so it will improve the website speed so here going to enable and disable all and post grid i'm enabling and going to form we form here we are using this one and that's it then going to save changes and also need to set some others plugin so we can do that later for example here is the mailchimp or sign up form so we can create that later for now i'm going ahead with others item so here if i check step 5 this is done and step 6 update site settings so now i need to add some basic site settings and we can upload logo so for that going to appearance and customize now from here first of all i'm going to upload our logo so for that going to header and here is logo select logo so you can upload your own logo for now i'm going to upload a dummy logo i will also leave this all file download links in my description so you can also use my dummy images and all others necessary files here i'm uploading a transparent white color logo because i will use the dark background for header and footer going to publish and going back now going to general options and general styling so from here i'm going to change all the primary color and all others color so here i will use the colors for this site so i will leave all these colors which i am using here but you can also add your own color instead of red white and all others color so i'm going to copy this red color and instead of this blue i'm using red also hover primary color and the link color dark color link hover color we can change it to this red all right looks good save it going back and now i'm going back and going to typography and going to body so here we can keep all others as it is and the font family i'm using inter this font family for body we can change the font size default font size 16 and color is okay for now and then going to all headings and changing the font family enter so it will work for all heading and the body font also and color we can change the title color to black and saving it all right for now we are done and going back now here is step six update site settings this is done and going for step seven is import templates so for that i'm going to import all the templates going to templates and here i need to import some template here if you go to my site and if i scroll down here is the download files and here you need to fill this form with your name and email address and when click on download now so you will get a zip file to your email and when you extract you will get all these files here will be all images colors and elemental templates so we need to import all the templates so here going to import templates browse and 
going to Elementor templates. This is a zip file going to import now. Continue and enable and import. It's taking few moments. All right, this is done. All the templates now imported. And then if I go to my steps, then going to step eight, create header footer. So now I'm going to create our header and footer. For that, going to appearance and here is Elementor header footer builder. And from here, going to add new, we can skip this and title i'm typing header here will be type of template header display on inter website all is good now going to update and now going to edit with elementor continue and add template my templates here is header i'm going to insert all right so here you can see our header is imported, here is our logo, here is the phone number, email and get a code. So we can link this button with a form and on the right side here is the menu. So for that we need to create a menu, we, I will do that later and we need to select it from here. For now I am saving it and here we need not to worry about the responsive view. So all the templates and all the layout will be responsive for all devices all right i'm going back and now in the same way going to create our footer so going to add new and add title so here i'm typing footer type of template footer display on entire website and all is good now going to publish then going to edit with elementor and here add template my templates here is footer going to insert and now here is our footer so here is logo phone number so all is editable we can easily change the number text here is social icon so here instead of facebook we can change this logo to a different one and here will be the link and here if we want to add a new one so we can also do that and we can also edit or update the existing icon in the similar way all is editable our services here you can add your own services here will be the newsletter here i'll show you how to create a sign up form and how to link with that form with mailchimp also here is some text for working hours Instead of this, you can do anything in this area. And finally, the last part here is the copyright text. So you can add your own copyright text. For now, I'm saving it and exit. All right, so our header footer is done. And then create pages. So now I'm going to create our pages. So here, I'm going to create some pages going to add new and first of all going to create home page going to publish and here we can hide the full screen mode so click on this three dots icon and full screen mode off and then going to add new create about or about us add new and services then we can create a service details page so instead of service details you can add your specific service name and we can add these pages under our main service page going to publish add new contact another one and you can create a page named coverage area going to publish all right so all the page created and import page design for all pages now i'm going to import 
pages inside each of the page so going to all pages and for home going to edit going to edit with elementor and here going to settings height title page layout we can select full width and now going to add template my templates and here is home so going to insert and apply so this is our home page imported successfully here this is the banner area if we want to change the text so click on this text and here from the left side we can change this text and here is some details here is the button for services so we can link this button with service section or service page and on the right side here is a form so we have to create this form and it will work for get a free quotation or free quote so i need to create this form i will create it after a few moments and here is the features area so here you can add your business feature or specification and here is the about section so you can add something about your company and also here is the call to action so you can add your phone number it's looking something different but it will look fine on the front end then here is the service section so you can add your services in this area or here if you want to add more so simply duplicate and here you can add your services if you want and here you can add more services which you have for now i'm removing it then here is the team member section so you can add your team member details in this section or if you don't have any team member or don't want to add any specific section just simply click on this cross icon and it will be removed and if we want to turn it back so go to history and going to the previous state so it will back again and next here is the testimonial so left side here will show some testimonials and i need to add all the testimonials from the dashboard i will show that later and here is text you can change it from here and then here is the news section so we can add some news or blogs for this website by creating different kind of blogs you can attract more users so it will get more traffic to your website i will explain that later and finally here is a call to action section so here is text and here is the button for free estimate so we can link this with our form area for now i'm saving our page and first of all i'm just going to import all the page design for others pages so going to exit and all pages and in the same way going to about us so going to edit and edit with elementor in the same way from settings height title and page layout making it to full width and from here go to add template my template and here is the about so i'm click on insert and apply so now this page is imported this is about so here you can add your own content instead of this dummy here is the about click here and from the left side we can change this text if we want to change the background click on this edit container go to style and here is the image so from here we can change this image for this banner area and then here is the about section this is similar as our home page so we can easily customize the image text all the items here is the team member so you can also add your team member here is the team member image you can change it and also here is the name here is the title and here is the social link so you can add a specific social link for this member and then here is the testimonial i need to add the testimonial i'm going to add this after a few moments 
and then here is the call to action button for now i'm saving our page all right now in the same way going back to exit and going to all pages and in the same way going to add design for all others pages so then going to service and going to edit going to edit with elementor and from here add template my template and services here is the services going to insert and apply and from here going to settings and height title sorry going again height title and page layout going to elementor full width and now this is full width and this is our service page so here all the service is showing and you can add more services just simply duplicating this row for example if i duplicate this and now we can just edit the item with your own services for now i'm removing it going to delete and all is okay now saving it all right so service is done and then going to if i refresh it and then going to contact and coverage so going to coverage and going to edit with elementor and now in the same way going to add template my template and here is the coverage so going to insert apply and from here going to settings height title yes and page layout making it to full width so this is our coverage area page here you can add the area listing for your service area now going to save this page and now in the same way going to contact going to edit and edit with elementor going to add template my template and contact here is the contact i'm going to insert and apply and now from here settings height title on and page layout making it to elementor full width and then update it so this is our contact page in the left side here is the contact information and right side this is a form so this is the default contact form which is created from we form we need to customize this form i'm doing it after a few moments for now we can leave it and then if i refresh it again so only the service details page this is basically the details page for each of the services here i have created a sample page but you can use it for your each of the services i'm going to edit crossing all others and from here going to edit with elementor going to add template my template and service details going to insert apply and from here settings making the page layout to elementor full width all right so this is service details page and here you can add your specific service name instead of service details like here instead of this we can add uh, roofing service roofing service or anything else what you have and here will be some text about your service here you can add some images related to your service and then here is some specialized area so you can add some specific list related to this service and finally here is the call to action button all right now i'm going to update this page and here if i want to add more services or service details for example now i'm refreshing it service details so when i go to edit again going to edit this page and from the right side if i scroll down here is the page attribute 
and here is the parent page so i'm selecting services so now the service details will show as the sub page or child page as the services and updating it and now from here if i refresh this page here is showing the service details as sub page of services so in the same way we can just duplicate the service details and now we can edit it we can name it to a different one and we can also edit the content for this specific service details page all right for now i'm going back for now we can remove it and now i'm going to create our menu if i check the list now so here we are done with the step 10 import page design for all pages then we have to create form add testimonial create blocks sign a form and step 15 create menu so we can jump to this step 15 create menu first and then we will go through all other steps let's go ahead going to appearance and menu and here menu name we can type any name for example main menu and i'm selecting the display location to top bar or you can deselect it and create menu and from left side i'm adding all the pages so select all and add to menu and now organizing the pages first will be the home page then about then services and service details coverage area and contact we can keep it like that and save menu and now if i go to visit site so here is showing the menu and the service details showing as sub page of services and here we can set the home page as default page so for that going to settings and reading and from here static page selecting this for home page selecting the home and save changes now again if i refresh our root url so here is loading our home page all right now we have to create our forms so for now it's looking break but uh, when i add the form it will look perfect let's go ahead for the next step so create menu this is done and also set home page as default page we did with these steps and now step 11 create forms so i'm going to create our forms so going to dashboard and here is the we form so here is a default form contact form we can keep it or leave it and for the home page i'm going to create a new form and it will work for to get a free code so for that going to add form and we can take the blank form going to create form and here we can set the structure so column we can take this and if i go to edit column here number of columns we can decrease it to two and for the left and right i'm going to add field so first one adding the name or we can remove it only the text going to edit and field levels i'm adding name and here is advanced option placeholder i'm adding it we can set the default value word restriction size and here is some conditions so you can set all this and we can set the field as required or not i'm setting it to required and then we can duplicate the name and moving it to the right and going to edit and we can change it to phone 
and going to advanced option and adding it to phone so this is done and now again going to duplicate three time four time and here we can remove the field removing all field inside the row deleting it and the last one going to edit it and making it to one column and here going to add email so going to add field and here is the email address going to edit email address going to copy or simply email going to advanced option and add it here going to add another one going to add field and text making it to locality and then going to add field going to add text for this one also duplicate and moving it to the right and here for the left side adding address and on the right side adding post number and the last one we can add a drop down or select so i'm selecting this and here sorry moving it to the section and going to edit drop down level we can make it to select the type of service and also the select test so making it to select the type of service and option we can make it any specific option like roofing adding another one we can make it to home cleaning and office cleaning and we can add more services and i'm going to save form and also the submit button so we can also change the button text for that going to settings here is the submit button text and here is the message to show so after submitting the form here will show the success message and it will redirect to the same page also here is some options you will see here is the submitted restriction you can add some restriction with our form settings display settings and also the anti-spam also the notification so admin notification if i go to edit so here after submitting the form it will go to the admin email address or here we can add a custom email address so all the information will relate to that specific email and here is the email subject we can change it and here we'll add all fields by default so we can edit all this from here and also here is some integration options all right so for now i'm done with this form and going to save form also going to all forms and contact form so we can also customize the contact form so going to edit here is the name email message so instead of the first name last name we can make it as simple name so for that going to add the name going to edit and we can make it to only name we can remove this making it to email and after that we can add phone number so we can take a simple text and making it to phone and also we can add address so text and we can set the text to address and here is the message so we can also add it to the placeholder so here is the placeholder text all right all is good and here is the submit button if i go to settings submit button text we can make it to send message and all is good for now and going to save form and now if i go to our home page 
here is our home and go to edit with elementor and here is the form go to edit select form i'm making it to here is the blank form but we can change the form name later for now selecting this and it's looking bad in here but it will look good in front end for now i'm saving it and if i go to preview changes all right so here is the form it's looking good here so name phone number email locality address post number and type of services so we need not to worry about the form styling i have already added all the style for this form so we just need to create our form from here and also going to contact page and here the form is updated already so we need not to worry about this so our contact page form is done and now if i go to our steps then we have to create testimonials so again going to dashboard and from here going to testimonials here going to add testimonial and here i'm going to add the title so it will be the name like here i'm typing john doe and here will be the testimonial text i'm going to add some dummy text and here is the designation i'm typing founder and here will be the company name and here we can add location rating so for now i'm leaving all this and here will be the image so i'm going to upload the image i'm going to upload these three images and going to set it and publish and now in the same way going to add more testimonials we can duplicate and now we can change the name and images for now all right i have updated the name and images so when i refresh so added three different testimonials and now crossing these and when i refresh the home page and now if i scroll down so here it's showing the testimonials here i have already added all the styling for this testimonial but if you want to customize it so there is options to change colors typography images and also from here we can change the query here is the slider settings so we can make it to in a loop we can hide the arrows dot pagination so here is much more options so you can also play with that and also you can customize it as per your need and also if you check the about page so here it's also showing the testimonial all right this step is done and then going to create some blog post so for that again going to dashboard and pages and from here going to add new here we can add our post title i'm adding a dummy title and here we can add the details or long description about our post and here we can also customize this text we can make it as different section and here if we want to customize any text like making it to bold italic we can do that we can also add link with any text and here we can also create different design or section and here is also available the elementor builder so we can also create a custom page design inside our blog post for now i'm okay with this and from the right side post here the featured image i'm going to upload the image for this blog post I'm selecting this image and set featured image and also here you will find some more options like categories so here you can add specific categories for blog post for example here I'm adding cleaning home 
and add new category. In the same way, we can create more category. Also, here is tag, so we can add some specific tag for our post. So this tag will help you to rank your website for different title. In fact, this will help you for SEO purposes. All right. And also here is the options to add except so here we can add some short text about this blog post for now I'm done with this and going to publish it now if I go to our home page and refresh and now if I scroll down so here is showing the blog post also go to preview changes so here is showing the blog post and when I click here, it's showing the details post page. So we can also customize this page design. By default, this is like this, the post in left. Here is the comment box and on the right side, this is a sidebar. So here, the search box, recent post, recent comment, archive and categories. These are coming from widgets if i go to here and widgets so this is the default sidebar so it's coming from here recent post recent comment so if we want to keep the sidebar we can customize it from here or later i will show you how to customize this page for now i'm going to add some more blog post in the same way going to all post and from here we can duplicate it one more time and now I'm going to change our text and images for all blog post all right I'm done so I have uploaded six blog post and now from home page if I refresh it again and now if I scroll so here now it's showing three blog post if I go to edit so we can also customize it here is the post per page three we can change it to six or anything so here now it's showing six blog post for now i'm making it to three and order by date order descending layout settings so here is some customization option so you can check that and also the styling option so i have already added some basic styling so you can also add your own style if you like that now going to update page and also the preview changes so here is also showing three blog post and now for the single blog post i'm going to customize the design to a different one so for that going to customize and from here going to blog single post and here is some layout so we can select any one this one and if I go here it's looking like this so we can keep it or also we can check this it's looking like this and the last one like this all right I think we can keep the third one this look good to me and also here is some customization options so we can allow the element positioning so we can change the elements positioning like featured image title meta content so we can move the positioning related post number is three so we can change that and also we can play with the others options for now I'm saving it and now if i again refresh the single page so we can see it's updated the design all right so i'm done with the blog post if i go to our steps create blog post this is done and now the next step create sign up form so now i'm going to create the sign up form if i go to our footer area so there will be a sign up form so if you want to add that here i will show you how to do that with the mailchimp but you can do it with any other email marketing tools for example here i'm going to mailchimp 
going to log in to MailChimp. So I have already created a account in MailChimp. This is very simple to do. So this is a normal sign up. And now I'm going to our website dashboard. And here is the MailChimp option. So we have already installed a plugin for MailChimp. So if I go here and API key. So here I need to add the API key. Get your API key. Click on this link and it's redirecting to the API key page. If I scroll down here, some API key already created. And here we can create a new key. API key name for tutorial and click on generate key. Here is copy to clipboard and done. I'm going to add it here and save changes. So it's now connected and it's linked with the MailChimp listing and the name is my first audience. So here the audience and if I go to all contact. So here I have created a custom listing my or first audience. So you can create your audience listing here and it will be linked with your WordPress account. Now you can create a form. So if I go to form, enter the form title, we can make it to sign up form. Select the audience will be my first audience and add new form. And they created a form by default. And here the input field email and the submit button. I'm removing the levels, only keeping the field. And here we can also change the sign up text to a different one. And here we can also add more form fields like list choice, form action, agree to terms. And also we can make some custom. For now I'm okay with this and save changes. Also, here is options for message. So here is the success message, invalid email address message, and some others error message and subscribe unsubscribe messages. So you can customize it with your own text. Here is the settings. The list from subscriber will add to this list and use double opt-in. Yes, update existing subscriber. So here is some basic settings. You can check this and appearance. Here is the form style. Here is some others form style. You can use that for now. I'm using the default one, which is linked with the ocean WP theme. I'm okay with this. And now if I refresh our page, sorry, it's still not showing. So I'm going to edit footer. If I go here, and going to edit here we need to add the shortcut they created the shortcut use the shortcut i'm going to copy it and simply paste it here and we are done so now if i update it and if i go to preview changes so now here the sign up form is showing but here i have also added some custom style to our header so when I go to our home page, this is only footer, so not showing the full style. If I check from the home page and now if I scroll down, so now we can see the form style is updated and our sign up form is ready to go. So by using this kind of sign up form, you can create a customer listing for your services and you can use this list for email marketing later. It will help you to increase your business. All right, now again going to our steps. So create sign up form. This is done. Create menu. We already created this and now step 16. So how to create a new page if needed. Now I will show you how to create any custom page if you need. So for now, if I go to dashboard again and from pages, for example, I'm going to create another page for testimonial. So 
we can duplicate any page which I already created for example the about we can duplicate it and go to edit we can change the page title to testimonial or testimonials going to publish and edit with Elementor so now the banner area I have to change this text to testimonial and then so here we don't need these sections we can cross this and only want to keep this testimonial or if we want to add it from home page so from home page for example I'm going to cross it also and we don't have anything here so that case from home page going to edit with Elementor and now if I scroll down and here is the testimonial so right click and copy so we can easily take any section from any page to other page so click here right sorry cross it we have to right click and paste so here is the testimonial and here if we want to change the text we can do it from here very easily also if we want to add any section from scratch so that case click on add new container we can select any kind of structure so I'm taking this and here inside this click on this plus icon and from the left side we can take any kind of elements so for example here I want to add text so here is heading text editor or anything I'm taking the heading and also here will be our custom text and here we can add our own text style going to style and we can change the color to black color and the typography we can add any font family you want to use I'm using inter and font size we can use 16 or 40 for title and here is all other options to style our text or we can do one more thing simply so our design will be consistent like others so we can do simply go to home page or any other page and for title style right click and copy and here right click and paste style so now it's getting style from this title and also we can copy and paste we can move it to top of it also we can add this line after this text and here we can easily customize all this and we can also decrease the spacing between text and line and this text so for that we can go to edit container and here is the gap between elements we can make it to zero or you can increase it 10 and here for this container we can add some padding for top and bottom so going to edit container and going to advance for padding making it to unlink for top 70 bottom 70 or we can do the same way like we can go any sections and right click copy and paste style and here is a light color background image so we can keep it or we can move it so going to style and here is the image so we can also change it or we can remove it if you want and next so here we can add any structure like going again here and we can take a another container and inside this we can take more container so here for example I want to take a two column structure so taking another container and going to outer container making the direction to row and here making it to duplicate so now this is a two column structure and in the left side I want to add a image we can upload any image and on the right side I want to add some text also for text style 
we can copy the style from others and here we can increase our text here I'm using some dummy data and after that for example going again here and I want to add a button if we don't find here just click in here and type button so here is button I'm taking this button and we can add our text here like contact us and here is some options for this button we can add any specific link for this button here will be the alignment here is the button size we can add any specific icon with this button and icon position icon spacing so there is many options you can play with this and also here is some advanced customization option so we can change color font style and all others to make it very short if I go to again home page and for example I'm going to copy the button style and paste style all right so it's instantly getting the style from the others button and it's making consistency inside our designs and in the same way you can add more elements more section as you want finally if you want to learn more about how to make any website from scratch using elementor so i have also tons of website tutorial so here i show you how to make any website from scratch so following those you will learn more about the elementor and the website building all right now i'm going back and here i'm crossing this section and from bottom we can copy this section and add here also the free estimate so we can link this button to our home page copy the home page url so when you click it's going to the home page top section and there we have the form get a free code for now i'm saving it and from here going to view page going to free estimate yeah and it's going to the home page top area so similarly we can add link for all pages buttons like here in the about section here so it will load to home page and this top area now i want to show you how to add our new page to this menu so for that going to menu from top and now here is our menu so here we'll show the most recent page here is the testimonial or even if we go to view all so here will be all pages so going to testimonial add to menu and we can move it to top and going to save menu now if i refresh our page and we can see the new page is showing to the menu so now you know how to create any custom page, how to customize any section with your own content. For example, from the home page, if we want to change the color, go to here, go to style, and here is the red color. So instead of red, if you want to add any other color for your branding, so you can change all the color by clicking simply here. Also for each of the section, you can edit and go to style and here you will find the colors and some colors i have added from custom css for example here you will find a line top of this section so these are coming from our custom css also in this area it's coming a overlay so these colors are coming from our custom css also in the header this red this red box this also coming from our header so for that if I go to from top and here I will see the header and footer so for header if I click here and here click on this and I have added all the custom CSS in the left side so if you know about some basic settings or basic CSS so you can customize it but you need not to worry about all these things all is good now 
only if you want to change the red color so in very top here you will see the red and here is the color code so instead of this if you want to add any other color so simply change the color code from here and it will change all the colors inside this css also if we change the footer style so go to edit with elementor and here is the footer so we can change our header and footer from here all right by this time we are done with our all steps to create our website so our website is now ready and good to go so after creating your complete website you need to do some digital marketing to grow your business so we need to get some traffic to our website and that will help to increase our sale or business now i'm going to share with you some basic steps what you can do after completing your website so first of all you have to do some seo work so let's see what is seo if i search in google and typing cleaning service in boston or whatever area you are living so you will find some website list for this specific keyword for example here if we see here is some sponsored link these are paid google ad i will explain this later and after that here you will find some website these are coming from organic seo so they work for their seo for this specific keyword and this site get ranked in Google. So obviously they are getting so many traffics to their website. So to get this kind of organic traffic or to make organic SEO, we have to do it in two steps. First one is on page SEO and the second one is off page SEO. So what is the on page SEO? For on page SEO, first of all, we have to write some content or here for example we are get creating the blog post so this is our blog post we can create some more blog post to get more content or traffic so here i'm using the dummy content so you have to write a quality content or quality blog post based on this specific keyword like here the cleaning service in boston or any other keyword we have to focus on this keyword inside this article several times and also the content quality should be rich and it should be longer as much as possible so if you want to write this kind of blog post by own you can go ahead or for this kind of services if you go to fiverr fiverr.com so here if you search by content writer you will find many service provider they are providing this kind of content writing service and these are very cheap so you will find it from 20 from 50 from 100 and even from five dollar so spending only five to ten dollar you will get this kind of blog post writing and after that we have to do some on-page seo with our content so we can also hire on page seo so here they are providing the on page seo service you can contact with them or if you don't want to like different person for different part so that case you can hire a complete organization or a complete provider who is working for complete package so for example if we search for seo service so here they are providing the full seo package on page seo technical seo rank one on google also off page seo so you can talk with them which you like so if you go to any provider in details and you can check their reviews here is different reviews they have so when you hire someone you can check their reviews how they work to their previous project 
So after doing the ACO, it's a long time work and ongoing process to get the complete result or to rank your website to Google or any search engine organically, it will take around three to six months. So you have to wait this time to get this kind of organic traffic. So by this time you can do some paid marketing like Google Ads here. If we go to the top area, so for this service, you see here is some website is showing in top and these are sponsored. So when you pay some dollar to Google and Google will run different kind of ad like Google search, display ad, video ad. When you spend some money for PPC or paid ad, you can also receive some instant traffic or instant visitor. So if you have enough time, you can learn all this in YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and search how to do paid ads on Google. So here you will find different tutorial or instructions how to run your Google ads or if you don't have so much time. So in the same way you can go to Fiverr and type PPC ads. So here you will find different experts who are providing this kind of services, Google Ads by Google Partner, Google Ads, and also you can talk with them like other services and others paid ad like Facebook Ads, YouTube Ads, and other kind of social media marketing ads. So finally here you need to invest some money and in return you will also get benefited and that will help to increase your businesses. Finally, after doing all this kind of digital marketing work, if you want to analyze your website for that, I'm going to dashboard and go to plugins and add new. So here we can add a different plugin for Google Analytics. So here you will find several plugins for Google Analytics. I'm going to install this one. Activate. Going to start setup. Sign in with Google. And we have to log in it with any specific email. Go to continue. Verify. Turn on matrix in the dashboard. Set up search console. And set up Google Analytics. So if I go to SiteKit dashboard. And here it's now still gathering data. So here you will see total impressions, total clicks, how many visitors you are getting to your website and all the details data from here. So here you can see some instant result about your traffic. And also if you want to see the more details, so you can go to Google Analytics site. go to google analytics and analytics.google.com so this is analytics.google.com slash analytics and from top left here you can select a specific site here i have added several of my sites for example from here if i go to any specific dummy website so from here you will get some more details information like users, sessions, bounce rate and also the traffic. Traffic depending on the time of day, depending on the country, depending on the device. So you will get all details information about your traffic or users. You can check all other options. So if you want to know more about this analytics or all this kind of digital marketing stuffs, go to YouTube or Google and search for that and you will find tons of related tutorial about that. So for now I am done with this tutorial. If you like to see this kind of valuable tutorial more, give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you have any comment about this tutorial, you can write down your comment below. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Finally, if you like to work with me for any WordPress project, you can contact me through my website. You can fill this form 
and after submitting this form, I will contact with you within 24 hours. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.